The API server, which is included in Identity Manager, is a general purpose and extensible component to host an API. You can start building plugins to extend the API server starting with version 9.1. Now we recommend using version 9.2 simply because of the number of APIs that were added in that version. But if you find yourself in a situation where you do not find an API that you need for your use case, you can extend the API server with your own endpoints. To do this, let's start by installing Identity Manager inst into a folder that we will use to run and test um, our development project. What you see here is a folder that I created using the installation tool. Now, when you run the installation tool, it's important that you pick the development and testing machine role because we will need uh, references to various uh, development and testing tools, of course. The API server can be extended by plugins. These plugins can be built in any .NET language. Now we will use C Sharp uh, in this demonstration. Um, the next step is to compile that source code into a, a DLL that will then be deployed to the API server's runtime folder um, and finally discovered by the API server when it starts up. Let's go back to the beginning. Let's start Visual Studio. Now we will use Visual Studio 2022 um, any version of Visual Studio that supports uh, .NET Framework 4.8 will be fine. Let's start by creating a new project. As I just mentioned, we will need a class library for the .NET Framework. And we will pick C Sharp as the language. Now, in order for the API server to recognize our plugin, we need to follow a certain naming convention. So let's call this API plugin Let's call this API plugin CCC Composition API Server Plugin. And again, it's very important that we pick uh, the .NET Framework 4.8 to match the Identity Manager base installation. Now, as described in the documentation, you can look this up in the API Development Guide. Let's put in a few assembly references to some base uh, API server libraries. So let's go to References and add some references. We will need QBM Composition API Server. And from the same folder, we will need these four. Okay, now we've added the assembly references. We can start by putting in a simple Hello World style API um, to our compilation. Uh, to extend the uh, API for the portal project, there's a syntax to follow um, by using the interface I API provider for. And now Visual Studio recognizes that we need to add some using statements. And now we can go ahead and implement the interface. This interface just declares one method, the build method. This runs when the API server starts up and initializes itself. It tries to run uh, th all the build methods of the API providers that it can find, and we can put in any code to initialize the API in the build method. Let's put in a very simple hello world. But we can also um, use any one of the API samples provided in the API samples project to now integrate with the portal. We add a method to the API by using the add method method. You can use IntelliSense to discover all the various uh, methods along with the descriptions that exist um, in the API server's object model. To start with simple APIs for reading, your starting point is handle get, um, either for generic methods where you can define your own data structures or by saying handle get by query, which integrates with the entity model. All of the handle get and other various handle methods use a request object. And you can use this request object as a lambda parameter and within the body of this lambda, lambda statement, you can define the object that will be returned to the client.
Now that we've built a very simple API plugin, let's look at how we can integrate this into our installation and test this. On the project properties, let's say that we want to uh, that we want our API plugin to be copied and to be deployed into the installation folder of Identity Manager. If we say build, compilation will run, it succeeded. Now, if we check our installation folder of Identity Manager, we will see that we got our CCC Composition API Server plugin DLL. In the next step, we want to debug the initialization of the API server. And to do this, we have to configure our project um, to use the IMX client to start an API server and to run it when we want to debug. So on the debug pane, let's point to the IMX client tool. The command line arguments for IMX client will be run API server dash B. Now we save this and let's press F5 to launch an API server. IMX client comes up and as usual, we have to connect to our database. Now, our API server is coming up. We can see that it started successfully and we can see that during initialization, at some point, our API plugin was loaded and we got a console notification. Now we can see that the API server is now running, it started successfully, and we got a command line output that said hello world. We can also run through this again with a breakpoint. Just press F5 to start again. And you can see that your breakpoint uh, is being hit. Now in the next step, let's look at how we can debug into the processing of a request to our API. Let's put in a breakpoint on our statement to return the hello world message. And now switch to Postman to build a request to call this API. Now in Postman, as with any other API, the first step is to authenticate, otherwise we cannot do anything. So let's build an authentication request. Let's make sure the URL variable points to our local uh, API server that we just started using uh, IMX client and submit a login request. That was successful. Now let's create a quick hello world get request. Let's call the hello world API. Now we extended the portal API project, which, uh, which is why um, the hello world API endpoint will be organized in the section underneath the portal API project. And if we send this, and now we see that uh, the debugger hit our breakpoint and we can debug into the processing of any of the requests uh, to our APIs in that way. If we say continue, the request ends and if we go back to Postman, uh, we can see the very simple response of our request. On the uh, Identity Manager 9.2 installation set, you will find this on the uh, modules QBM DVD add-on API samples folder. If you open the uh, Visual Studio solution, you will find a project of sample code for various uh, use cases, starting with some basics around how to write simple API methods to query data, to write data, along with more advanced examples on how to run scripts, write to the log, 
call customizer methods. Continuing with the examples on how to extend the out of the box APIs with more properties and even do more low level configuration on HTTP status codes, course configuration, file system integration. In this project, you will find sample code for various use cases, starting with very simple code to add APIs to read and write data to the database, but also examples on how to extend the out of the box API. Here's an example on how to add a property to a specific API method. There are also samples for more advanced and complex scenarios, such as this one, which uh, shows how to uh, build an API method using WebSockets. In this example, you will define a method that accepts a WebSocket request and then defines code on how to handle a request from the client and send client back to the data using a bi-directional socket. Now, as you can see, there is quite a lot of API sample code available, and we will have even more for the 9.3 release. Now, as the source code for the out-of-the-box API is not currently available, the best approach to learn about the possibilities to extend the API is to work through this sample project and work through each individual sample, see how all of the pieces fit together and understand how it works. The API sample project is organized in such a way that you can start at the top, start with some simple examples, and as you work through the project, uh, you will see that you will find more advanced, more complex scenarios near the end of the project, and the most important ones will start uh, will, will be at the beginning. And finally, you should only extend the API with new endpoints if you really need to. With Identity Manager 9.2, there's quite a comprehensive API already available, and it will be even more comprehensive in version 9.3 and beyond.